Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to configure your router to work as a wireless repeater or what they call a wireless range extender. So the first thing that you need to do is to do a factory reset on that router that you want to use as, a, as an extender. Uh, so you're going to select system, reset configuration, no default configuration, reset, and then reboot. But this router is already reset, so it is no configuration is there. So the first step, first thing that you need to do is to enable your wireless interface, change the mode to station bridge. If your access point is a Microtech device, if it's not a Microtech device, then you'd have to use station pseudocode bridge. So again, station bridge for Microtech device, station pseudo bridge for non Microtech device. So because of a Microtech device, I'm going to use station bridge. You can change your frequency band. And then the name, the SSID is the name of your access point or your Wi-Fi router that you want to extend the signal from. So this, my, my Wi-Fi access point SSID is TKSJA and the country that I'm going to use. So you can choose your country or any country that you want to use. Um, but the country that I'm going to use is United States um, because we use these frequencies. So I'll use United States. And for the frequency mode, I'll leave it at the regulatory um, domain. Click OK. Then we are going to change the password. So the part this this is this security profile. If we go back to the to the interface, we'll see the default security profile here. And that is where we'll put the password. So go back to security profile. And we're going to change it to dynamic key. And most wireless devices use WPA2. And then enter the password for that Wi-Fi. So it's... Uh, and click apply. Click OK. Go back to your interface double click on the interface and you should see it says connected so if we go around to status you will see the signal strength show that it is connected to this SSID so that's the first thing that you need to get working the next step is we're going to create a virtual interface so click on this plus select virtual and we're going to select a virtual interface so this we could call it repeater so we know that this is a repeater interface go to wireless and then we're going to type an SSID that we want to broadcast for a repeater the SSID doesn't have to be the same SSID as your existing um, Wi-Fi so you could use a uh, So I could call this TKJ1, so I know that this is a repeater, or you could call it anything else. So I'm going to call this TKJ repeater, so I know that this is a repeater. Security profile, if I'm keeping the password, I can keep the password, or if I'm using a different, if I want to use a different password for this um, repeater, then I would have to create a new security profile. If not, I can leave it as is. So I'm going to use the same password. But say for instance, you want to repeat the signal without creating a different SSID, we can just do this. And it will be the same as the existing Wi-Fi. So everything will be the same. So your devices will, will typically roam um, throughout as the signal get lower 
on one on one from one router it will connect to the next um, router or the repeater click OK and now if you notice this is this is going to be a what they call a slave to WLAN 1 which is the master all right so that's the wireless side of things all right the next um, next part is to create a bridge so we're going to create a bridge and we're going to add some ports so the good thing about this setup is that you're not only able to just repeat wireless um, just repeat the signal wirelessly but you can also plug in um, a device to your repeater and also access the internet through that device so this is what we are going to do so we're going to add all the ports on, the, on this router so we select interface all and this will add all the ports automatically so all these ports are going to be a part of the repeater so we're just creating like this um, a bridge typically then we're going to go to IP DHCP client and we are going to add a DHCP client so the purpose of this is for this repeater or this router that we are going to use as a repeater for that router to have to have its own IP address so if you need to reach it you can just type in IP address and get straight to that router so that's the purpose of doing this it's not necessary um, but one other thing like if you need to update the router the router will have will know of internet access so we just leave we're going to leave these settings as is I'm going to choose bridge apply ok so now we are seeing where the bridge got an IP and that IP came through double LAN 1 so that is where the IP so double LAN 1 connects to your existing Wi-Fi access point or router and then because it is in the bridge then all the ports that are in the bridge will also be able to to connect through um, this particular link or the link that is created between WLAN 1 and your existing router the next thing we're going to set a name for for this router so we're going to go to system identity and we could call this um, repeater I can call this repeater 1 just in case we might have others in our network ok so as it is now this Wi-Fi router now is configured to be a wireless repeater so this will repeat and extend the signal um, for your existing wireless network um, there are some other things that you could do with this other features that you could incorporate but um, this is just the basic and easy um, setup that can be used so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so so thanks for watching